Today we'll be fishing on the double O party boat out of Cape Canaveral, Florida for springtime cobia on jigs and live shrimp. What do you got? I don't know. He's running out. It's gotta be a cobia. Oh. Nice cobia! Oh yeah! He might be short now that I That's see That's awesome him. though, dude. Yes. First cobia, -hoo -hoo. First cobia ever. Let's go, yeah, man. I'm reading. Dance. Oh. Get that, Sater. Oh, what you got? Nice, Cove. That's not short. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, I just want to get a picture of them. That's so sick. People, they get the line. Maybe I do. Yo, Garrett, I'm getting. All right. I don't want to get tangled up. Bring him up. He's only like 28 inches. That is, yeah, I just want to get a picture of him. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, I got oh, a picture yeah. of it. Definitely, bro. That's an awesome. He's a little guy, 25 inches or so on the band stall. <laughs> on the band stall, man. <laughs> Got me something right on my hip. Oh, that's really bad. That's a good one. Can we get a picture with you there, buddy? Yeah, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes, sir. There it is. Yes, sir. Take cover. <laughs> First cobia ever. First cobia. That's awesome, man. You need any help with that down there? I hate to make you do all that. Going back. That was I don't even care if it is a keeper or not. Like that was so sick. That was awesome, buddy. <laughs> oh. No joke, that sucker's strong. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, see that's how they stick onto the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> now he's stuck to the floor. <laughs> good one, rod. good one. <laughs> all right, so this is all I'm doing. Just free line a little shrimp down there. A little O'Shaughnessy hook. And a small put on sleeve. Some nice shrimp, huh boys? Oh yeah. Gone. Nice. Yeah. Nice, Eric. Nice. nice. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Tighten down on her. Yes, sir. Get her out of there. Yes, sir. Get the jumbo shrimp too. Nice, bro. Heads up, boys. Heads up. 
There you go, that's Cobia. He's already up, he's already up. Good one, dude. Hell yeah. That's a meat stick. Yes, sir. Straightened out that circle hook. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Oh wow. Yeah. I was putting some That's serious, why it serious heat on it. got off. It wasn't keeper though, no big deal. Got it on video. Huh? Got it on video, man. Hell yeah. Good job. It's gonna move up from a two off to a three off. I got one on. Oh, so hard bro it literally hit it just pop it's just like dead weight right yeah. no it just went pop really yeah no mine is just like dead weight that man handled that thing to the boat yeah. <laughs> dude this rod is like a freaking meat stick bro i should have got more shrimp all right guys bring them on up we'll try it out oh. The tables have turned. This fish is trip fader. <laughs> it's usually the one putting them in our face. <laughs> Normally you're slamming Kobe in our face. Now we're slamming Kobe in your face. <laughs> Want to make a cast in there so bad, dude? That's nuts. Where'd you go? There you go, fader. Nice. All right, Lane. Lane. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, Marcus. Nice one, man. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus. Same mark as mine. Two yeah. on the head. Two on the head. That's awesome. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, we're all. Yeah, that yeah, works. We're prime up tonight, anyways, right? Yep. A blue. Got a blue runner coming up? Yep. A blue runner. Oh, yeah. Come on, another lane. Be another lane, bud. Bottom. It's one of those blue runners. Coming up, one up, it's coming up on one. Yep. That'd be a cove, he's running. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big nice cove, dude. Oh, oh my god. That's, that's, that's a keeper, dude. I thought it was big there for a second. That's actually going to be keeper. Oh! Just because you said it was a keeper. Now you're going to make me pick up the SPJ. <laughs> hey, that was a catch, bud. Yeah. Bro, it was a 50 pound Paku, bro. Ooh, it looks like a nice one. Bro, 
Yeah, yeah go get big. Somebody's frothed up on the big. Y'all want to know the secret to this? Yeah. Put a piece of squid on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Put some squid on there. What? How did you find out that? Cope, Cope. Nope. Yes, sir. Good job, man. Hell oh, yeah. That's a good one, man. Yeah. First drop down. Hell oh, yeah. Nice, and then you realize what kind of rod this is. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a big fish. Nice. Oh, yeah. Get him out of there, there man. Right there, man. Up. Get him, Myers. Oh. Get him. Oh. Get him out of there, dude. Put any more pressure on him. <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> all right, we're pulling up to the slow last pitching. spot. I'm slow pitching the rest of the day, man. We all caught coves today. Damn good day so far. But we need to get some keepers in the boat still, so we can have a fish fry tonight. This jig right here. That's the candy right there. Got him. Get him, get him. Ooh. There we go, baby. Hell yeah. Lane, yep. All right, all right. That sums it up, I guess. Pretty close to the end of the day.
what's going on YouTube. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm just going to go over really quickly the rod, reel, and tackle that we were using out there. So this video is actually filmed earlier on in the summertime, more towards springtime. We're targeting Kobe in about 75 to 100 feet of water, something like that for offshore fishing that is relatively shallow. Um, so we actually ended up using pretty light tackle. What I have here is the Vanstall VR200 series, the biggest VR series with a ton of 30 pound braid on it and an eight foot custom built rod by me. We have it spooled up with about 500 yards of 30 pound braid and a small knocker rig with 30 pound mono at the end. We, I would recommend 30 to 40 pound depending on the size of fish you guys end up getting into. But the current was not that strong that day, so um, 3 8 ounce weight was enough to get it down. Um, if you're not familiar with a knocker rig, guys, it is one of the most simple rigs to make. Literally, all you do is you slide the uh, egg sinker freely onto your leader before you tie your hook on. And we actually brought out live shrimp on the party boat. Usually party boats don't provide you with any kind of live bait. They only give you frozen squid and sardines, stuff like that. So I think the fact that we were using um, live shrimp also gave us an advantage. For the jigs, basically I've got two rods here. Slow pitch jigging and high speed jigging are two different things, but they're also can be used with the same or similar rods in my opinion. Um, Basically, it just depends on the weight of the jig that you are using. Actually, specially made slow pitch jig blank with an acid wrap as well on the guides for the casting and models. So if you're not sure what an acid wrap is, basically the first guide starts normal, then they kind of start to go sideways around the rod until they are completely under the rod, like a spinning rod. Um, that kind of acts like a lever, gives you a little bit more torque while um, jigging and the line kind of just slides through without even touching um, any of the guides. So this rod is actually a new rod that's available on the Feltman Fishing Coast store right now. Um, finally developed it. This is my first rod that I was using in the video that you just saw, um, the blue handle there. This rod is a lot heavier, um, it has the same acid wrap design, it works really well. This is the first model I tried designing, but then later figured that this would be a much more efficient and lighter option for slow pitch shaking and a lot easier to use because um, it does put a lot of strain on your body. We are starting to drop. This is a little 80 gram jig that we make. We also have jigs available. Um, all the links will be in the description below. Basically, um, when I first started getting into it, didn't really know a whole lot about um, slow pitch jigging and offshore jigging and stuff like that. So I just kind of experimented around with several different types. And now that I've found a good combination that I think works very well, um, we decided to drop them all on the market for you guys. Remember that secret, putting a small piece of squid on the assist hooks there. This is an 80 gram jig. We were fishing about 75 to 100 feet of water. So 80 grams ended up being perfect amount of weight to get us down there. I just put a chunk of squid on the single hook. Um, Kobe are kind of nostalgic, slow feeders. So when you have an actual piece of cut bait on the hook, it makes them actually commit to the bait and you'll get a lot more hookups that way. That is a hack with the jigs. The only problem with that is that you're gonna get a lot of small bites as well. I think that's it for the tips and stuff today, guys. I really hope you learned something from the video. It was a uh, wild day on the water. I definitely learned a lot myself out there. Um, every day is different, so you just got to get out there and try it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.